Welcome back to Red and Blue. I'm Robert Costa. Control of the Senate in 2024 up for grabs, and a number of candidates have already launched their bids. Democrats do face a daunting map, including probably in Ohio, where Democrat Senator Sherrod Brown is up for re-election. Ohio Republican State Senator Matt Dolan has already announced he will run for that seat. He finished third in last year's Republican primary for outgoing Senator Republican Rob Portman's seat that was ultimately won by now Republican Senator J.D. Vance. And State Senator Matt Dolan joins us now from Cincinnati. May have just had some chili for lunch, perhaps, in that great city. State Senator Dolan, thanks for being with us. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Robert. So you've been cast by sources of mine as a traditional Republican, not necessarily a Trump Republican. How do you see yourself? How do you define yourself as you look at this race? Well, I think I'm a conservative Republican who gets results. I mean, I've been in the state legislature. I've cut taxes. I've cut regulations, expanded school choice. You know, I've worked with stakeholders all around the state to help grow Ohio's economy. Intel, Honda have all come here. So, well, you know, we, we're getting the labels. I get things done. And Sherrod Brown has been in Washington for 30 years. And all the problems that we're talking about today have been the problems we've been talking about for 30 years. So how are we going to expect him to fix these problems? So I'm somebody who can go around Ohio, talk about the conservative things that we've been able to accomplish, see the positive results, and, and say, look, I want to get that done in Washington as well. Uh, Senator J.D. Vance has already endorsed former President Donald Trump's 2024 presidential campaign. Smart move by Senator Vance, something you would support or something you would oppose? We have to talk to J.D. about whether for him. For me, I want the Republican nominee to follow my lead, and that is let's talk about tomorrow. Let's talk about the issues that we need to fix, inflation. Our border is wide open. We must secure. Our standing in the world is weakening. We've got to stand up to China. President Biden spoke to the nation for over an hour and never mentioned China. He mentioned raising taxes. He doesn't even mention China, despite what happened over the weekend. So the Republican nominee better focus on those issues. That's what I'm going to focus on. Uh, and I think that's the winning message in Ohio. That's what they want. Somebody who will get things done. Have you met with Senator Mitch McConnell and talked about your candidacy? Uh, I had a chance to meet him for the first time just a few weeks ago. Yeah. Has he been encouraging of your run? Uh, hey, look, I was just out of respect going to the minority leader and talking to him. I, I focus on Ohio and Ohio wins. So, you know, you're going to have to ask him whether he's encouraging uh, about my race. But I am laser focused on making sure Ohioans know that I go to Washington and fight for them. I don't fight for anybody else. I fight for Ohio. But uh, before you face Senator Brown, you're go going to have to, of course, win the Republican nomination for Senate. So I'm just trying to understand for our viewers who may not follow Ohio politics day to day, let's say former President Trump is the Republican nominee. Would you support that? Would, would you support him as the nominee if he wins the nomination? If the Republican nominee has got to be somebody who focuses on tomorrow, all the issues we talked about, you know, taking on inflation, border security. That's what the Republican nominee is going to do. If a Republican nominee runs on yesterday, if it runs okay. on a campaign of and they win, look, I, I have to take a long, hard look as to whether or not they're actually representing what we need to get done in Washington. Senator Vance, uh, who you would be joining in the Senate if you win the nomination in the election, he has been wary of some of this U.S. support for Ukraine in terms of how Congress has allocated funding. Where are you on Ukraine and the level of support from the United States moving forward? Well, first, what, what Senator Vance is doing is government oversight on the monies that we're spending. There's no problem with that. We always should be doing that. Where I differ with Senator Vance is I do support American resources and American weaponry helping Ukraine defend against this invasion of a sovereign nation. You know, if, if we don't draw the line, if we don't help Ukraine draw the line, we're going to have American treasure and American blood in Poland and Belarus. I mean, we have got to stand up to Russia, not only to, to cease Russia's tyrannical behavior, but China is watching. We clearly know they're watching us every day, all the time with the balloon incident, but they're watching what we're doing. And if we show weakness, and I think President uh, Biden, you know, ultimately has come to do some of the things I agree with, but he's so slow 
in his ability to get it done. He's, we need Germany to stop the spigots coming from Russia. We need to be talking to India and have them turn off the spigots from Russia. We need to become energy depend, independent Understood. in Ohio. Right, so that we can, we can be the exporter of energy. Real quick, uh, State Senator Dolan, should changes to Medicare and Social Security be on the table for Congress in the coming years? Well, let's make sure we understand what we're talking about. Social Security is not an entitlement. American workers, Ohio workers, have earned that. That's their money that needs to be returned to them. So all these political games were scaring seniors who have worked really hard to get their money should end, period. Social Security for generations. My, my oldest just started working. We need to make sure, as you said, changes for him so that he understands what's waiting for him. But it's not an entitlement. People earn that money, and there never should be a talk about taking that money away. And then when you do that, you're just playing political games. Medicaid, Medicare, efficiency. Give it, get, let the states work on, on them, run it. I know in Ohio that when we have freedom to run Medicaid the way we want to, we give top services and we do it less, more effectively and with less money. We, we've got to make sure that we are uh, investigating these areas, have hearings, talk about it, see where there's waste, but, but understand that you can still perform your duties and look into whether or not we are spending in the right places or we're spending the right amount. State Senator Matt Dolan, I hope you stay in touch with us as you continue your campaign. Thank you very much for taking the time. Sure. Thanks, Robert.